Exactly one year ago today, a 25 year old man was gunned down in the parking lot of a north side rooftop lounge. Tonight, his family is remembering his life while voicing warnings about gun violence. The vigil held at the same place Brandon Cornelius lost his life. That's where we find the night team's Jaffney Gray. Yes, guys, tonight's vigil was just filled with tears, laughter, and just great memories of 25-year-old Brandon Cornelius. Again, as you said, exactly one year ago today, San Antonio police say Cornelius was leaving the Burn House rooftop lounge off Loop 1604 with two others. Around 1.30, they say that he was sitting in the passenger seat of a car when two suspects approached the car with handguns. That's when police say that they opened the passenger's door and fired multiple shots at him. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. His mother, Janelle Cornelius, still heartbroken but determined for the suspects to be found. They could come forward and save another family from having to wear these shirts. Even though, like I said, it's a blessing to know all these people, I would have loved to see my son get gray hair, have a family. Um, I would have loved to see him turn 40. Tonight, people from all walks remembered Cornelius for his kind heart, great spirit, and dedicated soul, having worked in the Army National Guard. Now, again, the suspects are still at large, but again, police are asking anyone with any information that can help lead to an arrest to call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That number is 210-224-STOP. Daphne Gray, KSAT 12 News.